Welcome to a tutorial on MARS x86 installation. It stands for Microarchitectural and System Simulator. I'm a, I'm, this is a fresh, fresh installation of Ubuntu 12.04 64-bit and I've just run uh, sudo apt-get update and upgrade so everything's current. And the first thing that I'm going to do is install some necessary packages. So there you see I've got everything current and we're going to install a few packages, git, scans, g++, and zlib1gdev. So that's about 43 megabytes of download. I'll let that get started here. And then we're already in the home directory, and so there's nothing there. I'm just going to clone the uh, Patel's Mars git installation. So it's going out and getting that source, 14 megabytes, and then what we're going to do is we're go now we've got a new directory called Mars, and I'm going to go into that directory there and build it. So that uses scans dash q, and optionally if I have more than one processor, then I can specify that I want to use both of them using dash j. So optionally I could put dash say j2 here for the two threads, and that will allow me to use uh, both of these processors. So we'll let that run. We'll get started. Now, as the documentation notes, uh, this by default, what we just did was we compiled uh, Mars for a single simulated core. If we had wanted to use, uh, if we wanted to simulate more than one core, then we would put C equals and the number of cores would be scans dash Q space C equals say eight for eight cores. Then you could add on the optional dash J two or however many processors you're using to compile it with. All right. In the meantime, while this is running, I'm going to open a new tab, and you can see this is taking up all of our pro both processors and uh, quite a bit of memory for the compilation. But meanwhile, we're going to go back to the home directory and make a new directory called uh, Full System Images. And we're going to go into that and we'll grab the uh, image that's available from Birmingham EU. So we're going to use wget, that'll download, it's 155 megabytes. We just downloaded the image, and now we're going to extract it with tar jxvf. And Ubuntu. So that extracts the image. So now we've just extracted the image in this directory and now we want to use it. I'm going to close this tab and now we're back into the other window where we were compiling uh, QMU with scans-q. So that's finished and now we can actually run it. How are we going to we're going to do that by QMU system hda and then we're going to put the path to the image. Alright, so now you get this message VNC server running on some, re some remote port 5900. So I'm going to open another tab, new terminal, and we're going to install Venagerie, sudo apt get install That's a 2 megabyte download. Alright, once that's finished, now we can use that program to connect to our local host, 2700, on port 
5900. Closed. So now what we see, we're gonna, this is the remote desktop viewer, we're going to close that. So what we see here is Ubuntu 11.04. That's the image that we downloaded and it's being run using the Mars simulator. So I'm going to log in with root and then the password root. So now I'm in the uh, file system. So again this is the remote desktop viewer. And this is being run over here in this terminal. So I, I've run the Kimu to launch that image. And it's running on 5900. So I connected to that using this program. And that opened up a new window over here. And now I'm running that operating system. I'm going to do ls. And we see a couple uh, programs already there. And I'll do top. All right, so we have a regular. Ubuntu operating system. Now to get out of this, I'm going to hit to get my mouse out of it. I'm going to hit Control Alt, and that'll bring my mouse out of the remote desktop viewer, so I can do other things back in the host. But then, when I'm done, I'll just click Exit. But it'll bring me right back to the terminal. So the way that I need to come out of this is Control Alt on the keyboard, and then close this viewer here. That closes that. And now this server is still running, so I'm just going to get Control C, and Mars is now closed. So that was installation of the Mars simulator.